Okay, we're gonna do some importing now and we're gonna do some SketchUp importing. Um, why SketchUp? Because it has some things you should be aware of if you want to start using these kind of models from SketchUp. First of all, you have to go to the 3D Warehouse, of course. So up here, Google, SketchUp, 3D Warehouse, and do a search on a model you want. I wanted to have this industrial robot, and make sure you download it. And once it's downloaded, you go to Max, you save file, import. Here are all the import options. This is the one we're going to use. It was named F, nice description of a file, and this is the UI you get in front of you. So it asks you if you want to import cameras, uh, daylight systems, hidden objects, and so on. So I just do this one because I just want to have the geometry in. Next, it will ask you as well uh, where you want to put the textures, which are used inside SketchUp files, which can be done down there as well. And finally, very important, is the double-sided material. So if you import it, SketchUp model, it is infamous for its uh, flip faces and so on. So once you use this setting, the front-back uh, double-sided material, you don't have any problems with flipped uh, faces in your rendering. So holes in your mesh, uh, it just prevents it. So just say OK, import it. Here you go. And of course it's two, and we only need one. So I'm going to delete this one. And then there are a couple of things you need to be aware of. So first, oh, let me just turn off this grid. First thing, um, if you look at your select by name list, you can see all the naming conventions. They are pretty useless because they're all named the same, all these objects. Also, another thing you will notice is that usually SketchUp files have a lot of these, oops, let me select all of them, shapes inside. And these shapes, they are generally used for aligning objects inside, um, for modeling purposes inside SketchUp. So in Max, you don't need those. So first of all, make sure you select all of them, check if it's not an important part. If it's not, just delete them all. So delete, gone. Next thing you need to do is the next step is make sure that you start attaching stuff so it makes sense in a logical way. So um, we'll just focus on the bottom part down here. I trust you can do all the other parts. So if you go to a left view and make sure you select the bottom part and then deselect this upper part and then use this one for isolating it, you will see that these are all the objects now and I could start attaching them manually down here like the so select attach click 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 and start attaching all of these or use the attach list which makes more sense of course it's not a shape it's those components so you attach them once this is done you will see that it's now one entity for max so the other thing you need to do is make sure that your pivot point is aligned to the center because we might animate this one, for instance. So make sure that you go down here in your hierarchy panel, sorry, effect pivot and center it to the object. If you want to do it more precise, of course, you align it to the bottom down here. So you're pretty sure that it's at a useful position for this part. So now you've done that. Final thing you also need to check is if there is any scaling problem. So um, a lot of objects which come in from um, SketchUp, they are rescaled by the user. So that might mean that these values down here, they don't say 100, but they say different values. So just to make sure that you don't have this, which might cause uh, problems in animations later on, make sure you do a reset X form. So here, reset X form, reset select. So it applies this reset XForm modifier to it, um, which clears all these problems of scaling and whatever they might have done in SketchUp. So now you're sure and safe that this one is a uh, proper object for Max and you don't get any problems with animations. So you convert it to a mesh or a poly, whatever you like, whatever you prefer. And finally, make sure that you give this one a pedestal sensible naming convention. So if you follow these rules, so importing, make sure you have this double-sided material. So let me show you that one as well. Here you go. So it has a front and a back. 
material which are basically the same. You can also rename this one of course so it makes sense as well. So pedestal here you go. Um, that's one. Make sure that you have that one ticked. Um, make sure that you start renaming. Make sure that you lose all the shapes inside your uh, scene because it just slows you down. Make sure you apply the reset X form to make sure that there's no scaling or whatever being inherited by um, from SketchUp. And once you've done that, you should be all safe when you've cleaned up your model and start reusing it for some purpose you might have in Max in one of your scenes. I'll show you that in a later phase, what you can do with it, but uh, this is basically it. Be aware with the importing. It's a great thing, this warehouse. It has loads of models, but be sure that you clean it up because otherwise you will get in trouble later inside your 3ds Max scene. So that's it. Cheers.